Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to uh, discuss useful SAS techniques efficacy analysis for oncology study class number 9. Previous 8 classes we discuss overview about these topics and today we are going to see the summarize objective response rate table. So we already know just given the heads up about the end points. So one of the end point is objective response rate. So how to generate the table related to the objective response rate. So this is a mock cell was provided by the statistician. So in this, so this is we can call it as capital N count and these are the we can call it as small N count. So here the best overall response each and every response counts and percentages they are expecting as well as best objective response, you know, uh, CRR are so that counts and percentages as well as the 95 percent confidence interval and difference in objective response rate between the true treatment comparison and objective response rate 95 percent ci as well as probability p values related information they are expecting in this table so how to generate this table and where we get the data and how to write the code step by step i'll you know write in front of you okay for this uh, response related data set is required adrs and you know so the capital and count and treatment information you will take from the adhl so this is a efficacy table because it contains the p values related stuff and we have to use the planned treatment instead of actual treatment okay so i just written the first uh, lib name statement so where we get the uh, data sets okay so here are the data sets we have okay so just run it and adam data sets were created in this adam so we have adrs response related and ads just i'm saving this code uh, So it is a best overall response related table. So best overall response table. Okay. So now first we need to calculate the capital in count here. The numbers, how many subjects are allotted to this treatment and how many subjects are allotted to this treatment. We need to figure it out. Then we can display that number whenever we write the proc report section. Okay. So for that purpose, the capital in R begin counts from ADSM. Okay. Simply okay scale no print okay so create table uh, so treatment as select so the planned treatment numeric version planned treatment character version and we are counting the distinct use of jid because we are counting the unique subject id so the count information i just given the variable name as denim from which data set adam dot adsl okay so and just group by trt01 pn and treatment wise right p and just order by trt01 pn comma trt01 p and quit and run So just check with here. So here first treatment we have four subjects, second treatment plus we have three subjects. Fine. And next, so we just created as a macro variable. Whenever we want to use that macro variable count, we can use. So the variable. So into class method I am creating. So two treatments, right? N1 and N2. So from which data set? TRT data set. Okay. So if you want to test how the macro variables are created, just click write the statement N1 
and end so that you know so we'll know so what is the numbers for created as a macro variable so in the log window you can see n1 is 4 and n2 is 3 into class method i have created the macro variables for the calculation so coming to the body part that is adrs section okay so data adrs set adam dot adrs okay so what is the first section best overall response and these response counts and percentages related thing we need to focus first okay so best overall response related category counts and percentages right so what we do mm. Yeah, ADRS we can take as a data set, then just uh, no need to apply any condition, just directly write the proc frequency method. So data equal to ADRS, okay, so by treatment wise and where, okay, let me check with this TRT, sorry. ADRS, you can see the param CD. So param CD is best confirmed overall response. Okay, so only one parameter is there. So if more than one parameter is there, you need to pick the best overall response parameter. Otherwise, no need to do anything. Directly we can do the tables aval versus aval C. So just out cases rs underscore aval data set i am giving so what are the default percentage you will get you can drop because we are going to calculate the percentage manually okay so if you write the proc frequency method of this uh, so no data option to do yeah so some error trt01 PN not available. Okay, so PN information is not available. So what I do here? So I'll take the information from the ADS. Okay. By use of JID. If you, so I'll take the information. Okay. still you know so adr is not sorting so what i do so trt01 p and pn i am taking from both from here only so that is why just dropping this trt01 p and after that one just sort the data set by this two Now we'll get the proper count rs underscore aval you will get C. okay so cr pr pd and some missing also there to subject and sd okay so we no need to consider this missing why because uh, the cell is asking cr pr sd and pd and they are not asking anything missing so what we do so simply we can write here the statement uh, here itself we are not considering right so where uh, well not equal to missing records we can take at the consideration and now you can see so now okay still still we are getting Yeah, so I will not in Adam dot ADSL. So I just apply this condition after this. No perfect. Only the CRPRHD and PD we will get the information. 
so now what is the crpr crpr nothing but cr is a complete response i already explained in one of the slides cr is the complete response and the pr is the a partial response and spd is the progressive disease and hd is the stable disease okay so this is a class uh, around class 5 class 3 information you can go and check that video for more explanation okay so now we will get the counts but uh, they are asking count along with the percentages of this individually so for that purpose what we do so we can merge with this treatment trt data set so that this is a capital n count and now what we get this is a small n count so small n count divided by the capital n count will get the percentage for that purpose to get the percentages so i just merge with the both the data set before merging we just sort two data set by treatment wise So data equal to trt data equal to rs underscore aval okay so then i am merging with both the data set i am giving the data set name as pct and rs underscore aval and trt by treatment so that you will get the information side by side so this is the small n and this is a capital small n divided by the capital n count will give you the percentage so we do the percentage calculations here so just you know percentage equal to small n variable is count and capital n variable is dename into 100 it will give you the percentage So you can see the percentage is 25 50 25 but they were asking us to display up to one decimal that percentage is okay so for that purpose we have to display as per the mock cell i just created one grp variable just to put the count variable so giving the folder convert them into the character how they want to display so one open bracket and uh so up to one decimal of this pct so 5.1 i am just giving and after that one you just want to close the bracket okay so now you can see the count along with the percentages will get by the grp but how they are asking treatments are in a separate column so to get the treatments in a separate column so i do or transpose this data set to get the same structure of the mock shell okay so so for that purpose i do but you know so here they given complete response partial response full text but here we are getting crpr so i am just you know making one more customization for aval c equal to first one is cr then i am creating one more variable aval cc so how they want to display the cr so complete response full text along with the abbreviated word so that is why this one and whenever you are creating a new variable try to give the length statement for that variable because in future it may not go into truncate okay so i will see two three and four so second one is pr so pr so how they want to display the pr partial response and third one is pd so how they are going to display pd progressive disease uh, 
and finally st sd how they want to display stable disease If you look at also, they are given some space before each and everything. So that is why I am just given two spaces. Yeah. Now fine. Mm, okay. So let me check with the PCT data set. Yeah. So yes, I have LCC variable. I have a space and this one. So and I know I am transposing the data set. So before transposing, I just added this label related information also at the top. So for the purpose, label, um, just giving the aval cc equal to this one and aval equal to I am giving zero. Why I am giving zero? Because here PCT you can see everything starts with from one, two, three. So if you want to give the label at the top, so just giving the less number than one. So that is why I just given zero. So automatically it will be going the top. Okay, so just giving the length also here. Now the LBL data set. Label data set based over response have are equal to zero. Now I set these two data set together. So data PCT set LBL data set and PCT data set together. Now the PCT data set you can see based over response at the top and all these responses here and this is the uh, counts and percentage variable. Now I am transposing the data set to get the structure like Moxel. Out equal to PCT1. So anyway, var variable equal to GRP. ID variable anyway, treatment related variable TRT. And by variables are aval and aval C. Okay, so aval and aval cc. So PCT1 again some sorting issue. So just sort the data cell. So PCT data set. Let me run from here. The PCT1 data set now you can see. So this is our well and this is our well C we have to display and this is the first treatment and second treatment. So counts along with the percentages. Okay. So wherever the missing values are there here and here, we just replace with the zero. Okay. So just write one statement data. So this is entire thing in a car section one, right? So I am giving a section one set. PCT1 if aval greater than 0 then do if underscore 1 equal to missing then underscore 1 equal to 0 if underscore 2 equal to missing then underscore 2 equal to just giving the missing because so wherever the missing values are there you just replace those values as zeros. So section one we have completed. So so missing. Then yeah. here you can see. So zeros we are there. Okay. So this section was done. So first section was done. Next second section. Okay. So this is the first section. So for that purpose, I just given a uh, section equal to one. I just mentioned a section equal to one. So that section one and section two, we can differentiate. Okay, this is a section one. And next section two information we have to uh, calculate. So section two is 
best objective response this is a overall response this is a objective response objective best objective response is nothing but so either CR or PR okay so here so here this is a overall response which one is the best one but objective response nothing but so CRPR so CRPR divided by total number how many subjects got the CR and PR divided by total number of uh, response will give you the objective response so for that purpose so what I do so ADRS data ADRS set ADRS okay so if in a aval in one and two so one is the uh, CR and two is the PR right so if you see also so one is the Yeah, so you can see one is a CR, two is the PR. So one and two, we can set to one section. Then I'm giving the variable name as objective response population flag equal to one for this. And remaining all are, so I just give this flag as two. Okay. So that, you know, so CR, PR in one group and other, all other are second group. So ADRS. So here, so objective one and two is one, and remaining all are two. So now, what uh, they are asking here? So first one counts and percentages, best objective response rate, counts and percentage. So for that purpose, simply you can write the proc frequency. Data equal to ADRS and tables. So so table C is the subjective response rate so by out equal to so the response data set is 0 and run just you know treatment wise right so by TRT01 PN TRT 01P. So R 0 might be TRT 01P. You will get the R 0 information like this. Okay. So first response we have three subjects from the treatment. Day. Second treatment we have one subject for response to and second treatment second response one subject okay so we'll get the count so we do the same phenomena like you know so we have to get the percentage calculation so how the percentage calculations we done previously so same thing here just sort the data set and merge and get this one so just copy the information and paste it the code and here r is zero right so r is zero so r is zero and uh, so it's not required at the moment and uh, just run now you can see the pct so i'm giving pct2 to avoid confusions and now the pct2 having counts along with the percentages of best objective response rate okay and next we need to transpose the data set we do some customization because we need to display the best objective response rate right so for that purpose if this is the one then aval cc equal to So 200 okay and we need to pick only this one so one is the object uh, best overall response and you know, crpr two is the remaining 
but we need only one right so that is why uh, we can take only this information into the consideration okay and pc2 to now here uh, yeah so this is only this one and here anything aval so aval i am giving up to here the section one aval was so 0 1 2 3 6 right so i am giving 7 so that it will go to the next one otherwise we can give um, aval equal to 1 the section information is 2 because it is a second section and first uh, row right so you can give like this also fine pct2 so this is a second section aval equal to 1 because so it is going to display at the first row and after that one you need to transfer the data set to get the information like this pct2 and pct3 drp treatment and everything same we'll see pct3 have yeah so aval one okay section also required so now you can see aval and based overall so this is a first treatment because second treatment we don't have that value so that is why it is not getting mm, right then i am giving this way data set name as section 2 okay set pct3 run section 2 okay so aval and this one section 2 and this one and first treatment okay fine so second section first part was done and coming to the next part of 95 percent objective response rate of best objective response okay so to get this one so we need to apply the binomial exact method to get this one okay so binomial exact method we use to get the objective response rate of uh, this uh, 90 percent ci objective response rate of crpr so for that purpose simply you write the proc frequency the syntax is data equal to adrs by treatment and uh, so tab table so the variable name is objective response uh, variable name is obj something you can give right so this variable okay and you write the binomial exact method right binomial and you write the exact method to get the 95 percent ci by using copulation method so by writing this one so the back end so many data sets were created if you want to see the back end data sets were created ods trace on ods uh, trace off if you write so you will see the back end what are the data sets were created in the log window so information was provided here in the output but if you want to take out so you can see the here so so many data sets were created binomial test binomial cls binomial c so in this cls confidence limit information is available so if you want to get it outside simply you can write ods output that data set name so i am giving the data set name as rs so rs one you can give okay so that you know so that information was coming to the work library rs1 so in this corporation exact method and we use so you will get this one so lower confidence limit and upper confidence limit okay so 95 percent lower confidence limit 95 percent upper so they are asking us to here you can see lower dash upper information of each treatment they want to display so for that purpose i just created 
data rs11 set rs1 okay uh, convolution met so just create the variable as per the mock shell so lower cl so up to four decimal they want to use so and after that one so dash and put upper cl so because it is a numeric and we are want to show it as a character and handling the decimal okay and uh, so aval cc the label is so they just given the space two spaces and this label so that is why one two one two spaces and this label and uh, aval i am giving two for this one and the section information too because it is a second section and second row right so rs11 now we can see uh, so aval cc and section equal to aval equal to 2 and we are going to do the transpose method to convert treatments into the section as per the mock so same and this is a rs double one and i am giving this section three okay so grp and this one we'll see section three no so grp is not found in the grp place you just mentioned as ca now you can see aval equal to section equal to 2 so this is aval see this first treatment and second treatment 95% ca so keep aside so second section second row also done coming to the second section third row okay so difference in objective response rate treatment comparison so difference in responses so for that purpose we have to use the same proc frequency method but risk diff section we need to use proc frequency data equal to adrs and tables the objective response rate so how we created this object response rate so crpr in one group and another in one group okay so we have to use the risk diff so that you know difference will get this option will give the difference between the to uh, that one okay and run and uh, here you write the ods trace of one and ods trace of so that we know what are the data sets created back in in the data set so in all the data set we have one risk difference related data set we have oh only one way frequency will get sorry so treatment wise we need to do right so trt 0 1 pn and this wise we have to do so now you can see difference call one call two will get right so in the difference call one so column one estimate and this one is a column two so we are doing drug a versus placebo right so that is why we can take the risk one data set so ods this column one equal to so i am giving rs two am so rs2 data set now you can see what are rs2 
what is output sorry now you can see the information so this is the difference okay so let me try with uh, what is there in the call to as well So RS3 also having this information and RS2 having this information. So the values are same. Okay. So you can take anything. Okay. So 1 to 2, 2 to 1. So two treatments are there, right? So first treatment versus second treatment difference, second treatment versus first treatment. Both are same. And data equal to rs22 set rs2 and um, so we need to select the row equal to difference so we need to populate the difference between this and right so we need to take the difference row equal to difference and after that one so first variable just you know so put so here we want to show the risk and here we want to show the 95% CA. So risk uh, is this one. Up to four decimals, I just created. And aval CC equal to. So this is the label. And this is the section two and uh, aval equal to so this is a third row right so aval three one two three yeah and just one so rs22 So a value equal to and this is the value and this is the value we need to represent. Okay. So keep aside. This was the uh, section four. Yeah. So next section five. So what we do? So we need to display the. Um, So no need to represent you know product transfers because it automatically it is a treatment three right so that is why i'm just giving underscore three equal to so r so that you know section four you can see underscore three we have value so anyway we have aval section and aval c and this third treatment fine and next so data section 5 set rs2 so same if r underscore 3 equal to so we need to concatenate this one lower value and upper value so we done like this right so just copy this code and here you just add here mm, the rs2 right so rs2 so lower CL and upper CL, this one, and section equal to 2, and aval equal to 4, this one. Section 5, we have same, aval, section, and this one is the underscore, okay? So up to now, what we done? So just, you know, I writing the final data set of set section related all data set come together. Let me check, you know, so whether, you know, up to now we done correct or not. So final. <coughs> okay. So I am keeping only the required variables. Keep section aval and aval cc and underscore one underscore two underscore three so these variables are enough to display as per the mock so final so this is a section one
okay so this is a section two in this also okay fourth we are not giving the label for that one mm. so what is the label of uh, this one 95 percent cf So in the final data set, you can see, okay, up to up to we get perfect. Okay, one, two, three, and etc. So now the pending one is probability value. So the p value. So p value calculate. So p value were calculated using the CMH method. Proc frequency data equal to ADRS. and tables okay and the, the variable objective response rate variable is there right so option cmh method you write so ods output the data set name back and you will get the cmh and CMH you write and see the CMH we have so many p values you will get in that oh no p value Yeah, so you'll get the p-values. So in this row mean square, row mean score differ, we need to select. So the variable name is alternate hypothesis. Where equal to alternate hypothesis equal to this one. So in this CMH, you will get the probability value. Okay. So we can convert them into the character and we do. So data section 6, right? 6 set CMH and section equal to 2, aval equal to uh, 5, right? And aval CC equal to so how the text is p value good and next uh, so what is underscore 3 equal to so put off the probability value p r o b so up to four decimals and run now we just you know cut this and paste it here and run the entire section so in the final data set you will get the information but uh, this where data set was not included up to section 5 only we included why the section 6 was okay, ACC yeah so here the final data set you will see p value and these are the values first statement second statement and difference between this section so now we are going to write the proc report section to get this information into the mock shell application equal to that should be in the left alignment so what is this one so this is the first title and title 2 justification equal to left alignment you can see here so it should be in a left side right so that is why we just mentioned it as a left alignment 
and title 3 justification equal to center alignment okay yeah so we get the same type of this rtf style so we need to call one macro so that is you know so percentage include where the macro is uh, so all the rtf files were set up in this macro so the macro is here rtf macro so this macro containing the styles okay so otherwise you know so we'll get the default style of macro if you are applying this macro it will get the uh, rtf style like this so all the cell padding and you know so top width the bottom width and uh, as well as but you know the font size everything was mentioned in that uh, macro so you can use that macro just so many macros uh, you can available in the google also you can apply that macros as well footnote one so this is the footnote one footnote two justification equal to left alignment and next we need to write the proc report section before that one options orientation Option orientation equal to landscape. So this is nothing but you can see here. So if your uh, layout is the orientation is landscape. So we have to produce the output in the landscape manner. And uh, so we need to escape some special characters. Why? Because otherwise it was, it was not going to uh, resolve as a line okay so we need some line so that is why the cap symbol you just you know escape carry mentioned so that you know if you need a bottom line and you know so top line so we are going to use some special character related syntax that syntax should be reserved as a line so we need to write the statement okay and where to send this rtf file you just mention the location so we can send uh, our rtf file into some location so this location if you can so just this mention the location and uh, so the rtf file name okay so the table so here the mentioned is 141 okay so just give the name 141 okay so dot rtf is the extension rich text file Next, just write the proc report section. Data equal to so the final is the data set name, and we don't want to print that into the output window. So, split character I am using here as the pipe symbol. So, wherever you want to split the text, you can use the split character and uh, style total output width equal to just i'm assuming 100 percent okay output equal to 100 percent and now we can write the column statement so what are the columns we have to use just open the So first one is uh, section next in this section so we have analysis values the variable name is aval
next it's in the section aval next aval cc next underscore one underscore two underscore three okay so we have to define so this section so no need to print this one as per the mark and define aval also just for order no print and next define aval cc okay so order so the label is missing only so they are not asking any label and next uh, the column of this one style the column of this particular variable equal to justification equal to left alignment and cell width equal to this time giving 20 percent so as is equal to one to get the same spaces okay so next uh, header so header also you can give the same okay and come so in the similar way one two three treatments also we have to define so first treatment so what the first treatment drag a go to the next line and n equal to so what we created the macro variable at the initial percent n1 so this is the total number of subjects assigned to the first treatment right so you can just mention the percent n1 so that it will reserve as a number okay yeah. so okay first treatment was done second treatment and uh, third treatment treatment comparison can give 13 total 99 up to 99 it will acceptable so next just draw one line compute before each and every page line at the time of first so this syntax will you will get from the Google also to draw a solid line cap symbol style output width equal to 100 percent border top width equal to 0.5 pt so here we are using this cap symbol right to resolve this as a line so we have written this option escape care equal to that cap symbol otherwise it was not going to reserve as a line okay so just run and just close the ods uh, i'll close now if you run the table Okay, so output was not generated. Let me check what is the issue. The group are across variable missing in every observation. The final data set. 
let me check with the final data set okay information is available uh, order order so no need this order no need this order yeah so now we are able to produce the output in this way so yeah so this we are calling and we haven't applied the rtf file here so style equal to styles dot test so whenever we are you know so executing this macro so there is styles dot test template was assigned right so this you can apply to your rtf file so otherwise You will get the default RTF file. So if you are applying this one, so the RTF style template here, so you'll get the RTF like this. So top line was bottom line is missing. So to get the bottom line, simply you just return here after so that you will get the after line as well. yeah you will get up so first line little bit you know clumsy right so we can increase the cell width of the first line uh, we have given how much uh, only 20 so make it as a uh, 35 so 15 we are increasing so you can decrease the 15 here yeah so now you can see it was fitted first line second line and third line along with so the zeros are in a little bit not aligned perfectly so what we do so we can increase the zero spaces where we are assigned the zeros uh, go to here okay yeah. so now you can see So zero is also perfectly aligned. Okay, so based over response, uh, each and every response. So if you want to give first section versus two section some gap, single gap, so that it will be visible clearly. So simply you can write compute uh, before the section. Just give one line and come. So now it is clear okay there is a space between the first section and second section and each and everything was perfectly printed as per the mock sheet thanks for watching this video